dirty ways to eat sweet potatoes. Is that possible? Okay, so I got this idea from one of the Facebook groups I belong to. They got to talking about sweet potatoes and all the different ways that they enjoy them. And I thought there were some really great ideas. And, and, uh, and then I, you know, I said, you know, I said to myself, self, why are all these great ideas like trapped on this private little group, you know, in this thread? I think these ideas should be shared out with everybody and I don't want you to miss out on an opportunity to be inspired to eat your sweet taters so here we are yeah uh-huh okay so um, let's just let me just read off the list that's what I'm gonna do all right here we go number one cut them long ways so they make two long boats and then place them cut side down on a silicone baking mat and roast them at 400 degrees for one hour. They will be soft and sweet and taste like dessert. Mmm. Number two, sprinkle on cinnamon with just a pinch of salt. Number three, eat them in bread with Mrs. Dash garlic and herbs sprinkled on top. Hot sweet potato sandwich. Number four, they're awesome in chili or in a garam masala curry. Serve them with rice and a spicy sauce. They make a nice pairing with cooked greens where they almost become the sauce. Number five, bake at 450 for one hour, then sprinkle with cinnamon. Number six, loves mine with applesauce, raisins, and cinnamon. Very rarely I put peanut butter on it. So good. Number seven, we put salsa on ours. We put salsa on everything. Number eight, Hot from the microwave with ancho chili peppers sprinkled on top. Number nine. I love my sweets with a bit of cloves, cinnamon, and allspice sprinkled on top. Number ten. I love them topped with a little leftover veggie chili. Number eleven. I squeeze fresh lime juice on them after a nuking or baking. This is very popular in Mexico. Number twelve. There's a recipe for enchilada strata, which uses sweet potatoes, spinach, and I think beans layered with corn tortillas. I made it a couple of weeks ago and froze in single servings and then thawed and nuked. Woot! I love to cut them in chunks and then sprinkle just enough veggie broth over the top to make my seasoning stick to them and then bake them up in the oven. I also like to make a spicy soup with salt and pepper and poblano peppers. Then I blend it all up in the blender till just smooth. And when I'm really feeling crazy, I add a little black beans and sweet corn. Number 14, sweet potatoes rock just all naked. Number 15, cut them into fries and season them with chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder. Ooh. Or you could steam them and sprinkle a little curry powder on top. <sighs> Number 16, vinegar. Number 17, season with cayenne pepper, cinnamon, ginger, and a little sugar, and then broil in the oven until caramelized. That sounds really good. Gonna have to try that. Number 18, I bake them in the oven, then either eat them plain or I scoop the meat out in the middle and freeze it in portions to be used later. Frozen sweet potato serves as a base for ice cream similar to the banana version. Or thawed, it makes a nice pudding type dessert. Sprinkle with pumpkin spice and it tastes just like pumpkin pie. Number 19. Cook one cup of sweet potato and mix it with one third cup rolled oats, a half a cup of water, two dates, one tablespoon of cocoa powder, one teaspoon cinnamon, and mix it in a high speed blender until smooth. Sweet potato pudding, low fat dessert. That sounds good too. Number 20, plain with salt and pepper. Number 21, slice thin and then roast on a baking stone for 15 minutes or until the edges start to crisp. They make the most delicious chips or Throw them on the barbecue grill until they split and the sugar starts to bubble out. Oh my, it's heavenly. Number 22. My husband and I like to squeeze lemon juice on our baked sweet potatoes. Number 23. I bake one, 
Take off the peel. Mash with two tablespoons of tofurkey chorizo style. Thin it with a little veggie broth, if I need to, and then make flautas with them. I roll them up in corn tortilla and then place them seam side down on a silicone mat and bake for, at 350 until they're crispy. And then I squiggle a little vegan ranch style soy dressing on top and you have a great appetizer or snack or a great side for a Mexican dinner. Number 24, with chili powder or Cholula sauce. Number 25, love them in chili or served with black beans and greens. And they're also great with a little no salt seasoning or with cinnamon and blueberries. Number 26, cook up some sliced apples and put them on top and sprinkle with cinnamon. Number 27, I bake them at 400 for an hour and then peel them and eat them just like a banana. Number 28, not big salt and pepper number 29 black beans and pineapple salsa and now for number 30 one and a half hours baked at 400 degrees is the bomb okay i hope you found this amusing and inspiring let me know which one of these ideas you end up trying out hey and if i didn't list the way you like to eat your sweet potatoes then i want to hear about it in the comments below all right i'll talk to y'all later be sure to subscribe and share this video with your friends. Okay?